I'm John Howard, I'm the course leader for health informatics here at UCLan. I've uh, been involved in the course for over 10 years now since its inception. Um, at the time it was actually one of the very first distance learning programmes in the university. And um, in those days we used the technology we had available which was CD-ROM. Now of course everything is available online on the programme. The course is um, delivered entirely over the internet, so there's no attendance requirements at the university whatsoever, which makes it ideal um, for students from all over the world who can study as and when they want. But it equally makes it um, very accessible for students who are working here in the UK. Um, there's no need to, to leave the workplace in order to come to the university to undertake take the program. The course is actually based in the workplace. The The way the program runs is that the program is modular, so you do one or two modules at a time. Each one of those modules is split up into learning units, um, and each of one of those units will probably take you around six to ten hours of study time but a lot of that study time is actually based in the workplace so you'll look at materials whilst you're away from work perhaps while you're having your tea or in the evening and then you take the learning from that um, study and apply it in your workplace the way the course is assessed is through a series of assignments that the students undertake connected with each one of the modules. And what we try and do is give you a, a small piece of work after about two weeks uh, into the module, which is a formative assignment. So it's not marked in a way that counts towards your overall grade for the module, but it's designed to make sure that you're engaging with the materials and you're learning the things that we need you to to learn in order to be able to show that you're meeting the learning outcomes of the module. Mm -hmm. So that first piece of work you'll receive feedback on, um, having submitted it via eLearn, which is our virtual learning environment, so that's how the student interacts with the course on the internet. You submit that and then within, usually we aim for a week, we will have responded and given you constructive feedback on that piece of work. That piece of work then forms the basis that you take forward to the first marked assignment, the first summative assignment, which is the minor assignment, which is worth 20% of the overall marks for the, uh, for the module. And that may be one of a variety of different um, styles of work. It could be a PowerPoint presentation with some notes that you provide. It could be a critique of your workplace. There's a, a variety of, uh, of assignments depending on the module that you're studying. And the feedback that you've received in the first formative assignment then helps you prepare for your minor assignment, which is your first mark piece. Once we've you've undertaken the minor, there is then another formative piece of work which builds on the previous two assessments that you've done and it's designed to prepare you for the major piece of work, the major assignment, which is worth 80% of the overall grade for the particular module. And again, we use a variety of different um, styles of assessment there, but the, the basis for each one of those pieces of work is they are work-based. So what you are doing effectively is taking the learning from the learning materials that you have had and then applying it to your own workplace. And finally there's a reflective piece at the end um, where you actually go back and look at what you've learned um, during the module and how it's affected you, how, what sort of difference it's made to your practice. Hello, I'm Dr Beverly Ellis and I'm one of the module tutors on the course. My background uh, was in the NHS for over 20 years. I was uh, responsible for implementing integrated electronic health records across a multidisciplinary team. That gave me an awareness of the importance of systems that are there to support the delivery of health and social care. The basis of health informatics is that you need good quality information to underpin decision making right across the spectrum of um, health and social care. The interest in health informatics is reflected in the constituents of our um, students. Over my experience of the last 10 years, we've had a wide range of backgrounds represented. We've had clinicians from all levels and all disciplines. We've had district nurses, health visitors. We've had 
coding clerks, we've had health informaticians, um, call centre representatives, we've had a real variety. We also have international students and that adds to our um, breadth as well as our depth of experience. So we're able to do comparisons of healthcare systems on an international basis. Tutorial support is available online. Typically um, a tutor is available from 10 till 2 daily, Monday to Friday, and three evenings a week as well. That addresses the needs of our students who in the majority of cases work full time. They may also be international, so we cope with timelines. And what that support consists of is access to a chat room facility. You can either have group chats or a one-to-one -one chat with your tutor. We're also available via email and telephone and we can arrange face-to-face -face tutorials. So it has been known that we meet um, students at a convenient venue and convenient time. But the support is there in a variety of formats to address the different learning needs of individual students. So we'll tailor it to your needs. So for example, um, you can send in a draft assignment before the final submission. You'll receive feedback that will um, give you the ability to make an informed decision that the assignment is ready for submission. Um, the course leader has already addressed to you the assessment strategy. You will receive feedback with a provisional mark. The way the university examination boards um, work is that provisional marks are submitted for moderation and external verification and then they're ratified at an examination board once a semester. Following those boards you'll be given a final transcript of your grades. The reason we give provisional marks is that it helps with your development um, throughout the course as you address the learning needs of assessment. The feedback and the provisional marks help you understand exactly what's required. So we have transparency. When the assignments um, are set, they're available on eLearn as soon as you gain access to the module. So you're able to time manage because you can see what assessments are due when. You're also able to see when the feedback will be back, a maximum of um, 15 days, but normally it's, it's before that time. That enables you then to build incrementally your knowledge base throughout the course that is applied in the workplace. So there's a real connection between the learning experience and your development in the workplace. 